Hello P3 students, welcome again in our math 3 class and this is Miss Claire. Welcome to chapter 2. It talks about place value and rounding numbers. So in this video P3, you will learn three lessons. We have lesson 1 to read and write place values, lesson 2 multiply numbers by 10 and lesson 3 compose, decompose and regroup now regroup three digit numbers so p3 are you familiar with these topics okay if you're ready let's start i have here a picture take a look here the boy said this is eddie right there are 10 biscuits in a pocket so there are 100 biscuits in 10 pockets so how many pockets are there there are 10 pockets and there are 10 biscuits in one pocket kaz the girl answered we need 120 biscuits in all. Do we have enough biscuits? So why is Kaz packing the biscuits into bags of 10? Okay, if you know the answer or if you have something in your mind, you can share that during our class, okay? Now let's start with lesson one or lesson A. Read and write place values, okay? So I have here some blocks, okay? In 452, which place value is the digit 5 in? Which digit is in the 1's place? So how do you know? How are we going to find the place value? Do you know? 4, we have 452. So the digits are 4, 5, and 2. Okay. Now let's take a look in our thinking cap. How can you classify the digits according to their place values? So in P2, do you remember what are the place values? Okay, continue watching this video. So I will discuss more about this. Okay, let's continue. I have here Ron's buttons. So Ron has 678 buttons. He uses cubes to show the number 678. Okay, I have here some cubes. So we have six hundreds or the six hundred. Then we have seven tens or seventy and eight ones or eight. Okay. Now the digit six, this one, is in the hundreds place. The digit seven is in the tens place and the digit eight is in the ones place. So the value of 6 or digit 6 is 600. The value of digit 7 is 70. And the value of digit 8 is 8. The digit 0 is important. So sometimes we have digit 0 in our numbers. 308, for example, is not the same as 38. Why do you think? Why 308 is not the same as 38? Okay. Now, Ralph says 380 is the same as 38. Is he correct? Why or why not? Okay, please share your answers during our class. Okay, let's continue. We are now on lesson B, multiplying numbers by 10. So how to multiply numbers by 10? I have here some bags of peanuts. We have three bags. In one bag, there are... 10 peanuts. So how would you find the total number of peanuts Eddie, Eddie has? Maybe you are going to add all. So 10 plus 10 plus 10. And that is equal to 30, right? But there is another way to find the total number of peanuts without using addition. And that is by multiplying, multiplication, multiplying by 10. So for our thinking cap, Kaz has 13 bags of peanuts. Each bag has 10 peanuts. How would you find the total number of peanuts Kaz has? So now we are we have 13 bags. So it's difficult to add a lot of numbers. So that's the use of multiplying by 10. Ling uses cubes to show some numbers. She multiplies them by 10 twice. Children, when we see multiplies, it means we are going to add a number many times. So multiplying is a repeated addition. So for example, 
At this time, we will multiply it by 10 two times or twice. 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10, 2. Multiply by 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. And 4 times 10 is, what's the answer? Yes, that is 40. So it, it has 4 bars here. That is 40. Now, if we multiply 10 by 10 again, it makes 100. 20, we multiply it by 10, it becomes 200. 30, we multiply by 10, is 300. And 40, we multiply by 10, is 400. So do you find or do you notice something? What will happen to the number if we multiply it by 10? Okay, now let's have another one here. Tyler has 10 bottles. Look at the bottles. He puts six seashells in each bottle. So there are 10 bottles here. And each bottle has six seashells. So he uses a place value chart to show multiplying some numbers by 10. He multiplies six by 10 like this. So this is six. Six is one's place, right? When we multiply it by 10, the six here, it will move to the left. And left to ones is tens. So the one or the six here, it will become 60 because this is six tens. And we just put zero here. So six times 10 becomes 60. So there are 60 seashells. So that's how to multiply a number using a place value chart. We just simply move the digit to the left. So the digit become bigger. Another, he put 71 seashells in each bottle. He multiplies 71 by 10 to find the total number of seashells. How come it becomes 71 times 10? It becomes 710. 71 is 7 tens and 1, 1. So if we multiply it by 10, the ones here, the number 1, it will move to the tens place. And the 7 here, which is 70, it moves to the hundreds place. So it becomes 700. So 700 and 1, and we add 0 here. So it becomes 710. So from the charts, or from the chart earlier, multiplying a number by 10 moves to each digit of each digit, one place to the left. Then we use zero as a placeholder in the ones place. So we, that's what I said earlier, that zero is a very important digit, okay? So we just simply put zero here as a placeholder in the ones place. So I hope it's clear, P3, that if we multiply a number by 10, the digit will move one digit to the left. So it becomes bigger. Okay, next, let's have lesson C. Compose, decompose, and regroup three-digit numbers. So, do you remember compose, decompose? Okay, look at here. Easy has 24 muffins. How can you regroup the 24 muffins? When we say regroup, group again. So based in this picture, the muffins are grouped by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one here is 8. This is also 8. And this is also 8. So 8 by 1, 2, 3. So there are 3. So 8 by 3. Can we regroup the 24 in another way? Okay, if you know how, some ways. You can share that to Miss Claire, to me later during our class. Okay, let's have here the thinking cap. Kaz has 224 muffins now. How can you regroup to 224 using hundreds, tens, and ones? Okay, do you know how to regroup this one? So if we have 200 and 24, 4 is 4. 2 is 20, 
and two is two hundred. So that's the value of each digit of this number. Okay, let's continue. Okay, Eddie has two hundred and forty-six paper clips. He uses number cards to compose the numbers that make two hundred and forty-six. So to make two hundred and forty-six, as what I showed earlier, the digit two is two hundred. The digit four is forty, and the digit six is six. So two hundred plus forty plus six is two hundred forty-six, or you can say two hundred plus four tens plus six ones is equal to two hundred and forty-six. That is what we call composing, children. Okay, now how about this example? Cas beans. Cas has four hundred and thirty-seven beans. She uses number cards to decompose the number four hundred thirty-seven in hundreds, tens, and ones. So, four hundred thirty-seven, seven, thirty. Then the four is four hundred. So when we see decompose. 437 is equal to 4 hundreds, 3 tens, and 7 ones. Okay. Next, we have here another one Ron's craft sticks. Ron has 372 craft sticks. He regrouped the number 372 using a place value chart. So he regrouped this one in this way. So 372, the 3 and 7, he puts together, so this becomes 37 tens. So 37 tens plus 2 ones, see? 37 tens plus 2 ones. Still the same as 372 ones. So this is still the same. Another is 200. So instead of using 300, he only used 200. So there is a remaining 100. Where did he put the 100? He adds to 7 tens. Remember, 100 is equal to 10 tens. So this one here means 10 tens. 10 plus 7 tens, so seven ten, 17 tens. So we have 200. Plus 7, 10, tens, plus 2, 1. This is still the same as 372. Another one to regroup is like this. 372, so 301. So the remaining is 70 and another one, so 71. Or you can put 370 plus 2. So that's another way to regroup. Another way, children, is like this. You put the 300 and 2 together. 300 and 2, right? So to make it 372, we add 70. So that is what we call regrouping. Okay, P3, that's all about chapter 2, place value and rounding for lesson 1, 2, and 3. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. I hope that you learn a lot in this video. Thank you for watching P3. I always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy your day.